Hi there, Booktube! My name is Cristina and Happy New Year, Happy New Decade, Happy New Everything! I hope that this will be the year of great and big changes for everyone and I hope that the most of them will be pleasant and that they will be just welcomed in our life. I'm here filming with the natural light, finally, I was missing it so much, but unfortunately I'm already losing light, so you will see me half in shadow, half in light, I don't know how it will work out, and if you will hear a male voice, it's my boyfriend who is playing Red Dead Redemption in the other room, so he's playing with the party, so you will hear probably something like in the background and it's him. But let me get to the main topic of this video, because it's the 1st of January, which means that it's time for goal setting. And I'm so happy to set my goals for this new year. I tried to keep them as doable and as realistic as possible, because when you set yourself too high of a goal, I believe that at the end you end up like a little bit bummed up because you maybe you cannot achieve it for whatever reason. So I try to stay as just focused and realistic as possible. So let me get to my goals. The very first goal is of course the Goodreads goal and I will keep it just the same as this year. So 80 books in one year. And I count everything, of course. I count graphic novels, I count mangas, I count audiobooks, because it's still reading, it still take your time, so it's just reading. <laughs> and I will go with it, uh, because this year, I at the end, I just barely, barely managed to reach the goal of 80. Once upon a time I was able to read like 120 books during a year, but I have a full-time job and I work and I wake up at 6 in the morning, I come back home at 7.30, sometimes 8 in the evening, so realistically speaking, I cannot read as much as I used to when I was a student, so yeah, I just have to keep it clear and nice and 80 is still a little bit of a challenge, but not too high. So 80 is the perfect number for me. The second goal is something very new for me, but I decided that during the year, since we have four seasons, I will try and read four big books. And by big books, I mean everything that's over 500 pages. I have a bunch of those and I usually, for whatever reason, just push them in the back of my TBR because I don't know, I like big books, I like long stories, but at the end of the day, if I can, I just like try and go towards shorter ones, and I don't want to do it anymore. I want to dive into big, like medium, flashy stories. Well, probably that's a little bit gruesome, but yeah, you get what I mean. So yeah, I will try and read one big book per season. I don't know if I will, probably use again my TBR jar that is here in my new home, so maybe that one will come back or I will go for a specific book, I'm not sure yet, but I will read four books, big books, or at least I will try. Next is again a goal that I'm getting from the past and I'm trying to move on with, and I will try and read three books from Y12 and In12 project. Well, the name originally meant that in 12 months I was supposed to read 12 books from 12 countries. It's the third year that I'm going on with this project, so 12 in 12 now means just 12 books from 12 countries, full stop. So I will try and for sure I will read a book from Portugal, I believe, because I already filmed that one, was it Portugal or was it Spain? It was Portugal. So for sure one of those and then I already have lists for other countries. So I will read at least three books from three different European countries. And if you're interested in my 12 in 12 project, I will leave a link down below. Next goal is very personal and I feel very much ashamed about it. I'm starting to read less and less in Russian and I don't like it. I want to read more in my native language. So I will go and read one 
classic specifically not just one book in Russian because that will happen for sure but I will read one classic because I own so many classics in Russian that I just own to myself and to my country and my culture or wherever I know it sounds dramatic but it's true I have to read some classics that are written in Russian because they deserve it they're classics for a reason so for example I have Yevgeny Onegin or I have War and Peace which is huge but I need to read it and yeah this is a goal next one is I hope manageable because well, I will publish soon uh, like a recap video of my situation at the end of 2019 as far as series are concerned, but I plan to finish at least three series in 2020. So, finger crossed, I will be able to do so because some of the series that I started are actually duologies and I already own the second book, so I can finish it. Like, for example... For example, Strange the Dreamer. <laughs> I own the second one. I just need to read the actual book. So I will try and do it. Or again, The Remnant Chronicles. I just have one more book to read and one novella. So why not? And the very last goal is the one about which I'm quite excited because it's very new for me. I've always wanted to try and join those bingos or those like reading challenges with a lot of books into them or like general hints at books, so I really wanted to give it a try, but at the end of the day I never do so because there are some strange titles to find or some specifics that I cannot meet for whatever reason because I'm a mood reader and I don't want to read that kind of book at that moment. So it's always a little bit strange, but this time I decided that I will read 20 books since it 2020, so 20 books for that reason, and I will have a specific list, but I will make a video about it, and if you enjoy my kind of list, you may join in, you may go with it for 2020, you're more than welcome, and if you will, then please let me know then, because we can just join forces and try to motivate each other, just that. So, that will come up soon, so stay tuned, and yeah, those are my goals for 2020. I have no goals as far as subscribers are concerned or stuff like that because I really have like no real possibility to impact that aspect of my channel. It's just completely random. I missed my opportunity in the algorithm back when I started and now I'm going towards my fourth booktube anniversary. So. I'm just probably kind of stuck with this number of subscribers and I'm very happy as it is because I found some amazing people and they're not that many because a lot of subscribers never interact with me but those who do I just love them from the bottom of my heart and I know that I'm not the kind of person that's very outgoing and shows it very very much but believe me each and every time you leave a comment or just leave a like or something like that. I just internally scream and jump and do a cheerleading kind of dance because it makes me excited that I create a content that you enjoy and that maybe I just give you a suggestion that you would love or that you discovered something new or that you just enjoyed 10 minutes of your stress-filled day um, relaxing. So yeah, that's my goal with this channel and so I have no subscribers goals or stuff like that. And this is it for this video. I hope that you will have a fantastic, amazing 2020 and I will for sure try to make mine as full of new experiences and all experiences that I loved that I will try to bring back in 2020 just because I wanted to make a year to remember and this is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please let, let me know down below which is your Goodreads goal, if you have any, and then if you have something that you really want to do in 2020, because I have a couple of things and probably I will share them with you in the future. And that's it for now. Bye! Ciao and Happy New Year!